Hi, I'm Elise Crocker. When you hear the words Dragon Con, you probably think of guys dressed in silly costumes acting out their fantasies from video games and comic books. But what about the ladies? So what is it like to be a woman at Dragon Con? Do you feel like a, a, an object? Oh, not at all. It's amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. The kind of power that they put into the women in superhero books and movies and TV shows is amazing. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, we hate attention, hence the costumes, and we hate having our photos taken, hence the costumes. We feel like celebrities because everybody stops and wants to take your picture. All right, I'm here with the uh, volleyball team <laughs> of Dragon Con. And I get to run around like a lunatic for three or four days and just dress up like silly people that I like in comic books. So wh uh, why do you come every year? Um, I keep coming back because it's it's just a really neat place. To, it's kind of a big community of, of people who are into kind of dorky things like sci-fi and gaming and all that. And it's just a place everybody gets together and gets really excited about the things we like. Because I get to play with my friends and we dress up. and Oh, just for all the fun and the dress up. Dress up, hang out with all my friends. I come to party. Because it's fun and you get to see people that you haven't seen in a while. And when else do you get to dress like this? Like Somebody no called Gloria Steinem. Has anyone read The Feminine Mystique? What do you think of the men of Dragon Con? I mean, it, just like the women vary, the men vary. Some guys are great, some of them are cute, some of them are just plain weird. I mean, if you're not here to meet men, why would you even come here? Is he looking? Is he looking? There are so many victims, uh, no, uh, not victims, excuse me, there are so many um, eligible men to run around and take a look at and gawk at and spank a few of them. And so you're self-conscious about your overbite. So what's your favorite pickup line of the day? I think my favorite one so far has been, how tall do I have to be to ride this ride? <laughs> I like nerds. Nerds are hot. And plus they can fix your computer. Is he looking? Is he looking? We're with the, another um, woman, I think. So you don't mind being ogled by men? I don't think the Flying Spaghetti Monster gets ogled too much. Actually, um, I've been in comics for 20 years, uh, known for working on Wonder Woman, Catwoman, uh, but I got my big break on Justice League. Do you design the shoes as well? Um, yeah, and they're designed to not work in the real world. Anybody that's seen Batgirl run around on a rooftop with heels that Prince would refuse to wear on stage knows that comic book costumes are meant to look good and not feel good. I mean, it's like 115 degrees outside. Yeah, I'm. this is ultra suede, so I'm actually sweating quite a bit. From the dawn of time until now, sex sells. You, uh, Whether it's candy wrappers or, or the Bible, uh, if you put something in a pretty package, it will sell well. And uh, that's one of the things about comic books is... Uh, People want to see stories about characters that, that do amazing things, but look good doing it. I'm here with Yancey Butler from Witchblade. I'm very happy to meet you, one of the elite women of sci-fi. Oh, well, thank you very much. Do you feel empowered as, you know, one of the icons at Dragon Con? You know, I do. I kind of, I was a little bit on the forefront of the whole femme fatale thing, and, and I like that these women of power aren't this G.I. Jane, you know, suck my... It's kind of, they've become a little more human, and, uh, and I'm really happy to be, be a part of that. Linda Blair, you are an icon. In The Exorcist, you played an innocent child, severely afflicted by ADD, bulimia, and Tourette's syndrome. What was that like? Hard. What do you think of the fans that are here? Oh, I love Dragon Con. Unlike the other festivals or, or conventions around the country, Dragon Con has the most free, um, loving, they're non judgmental. I love the costumes, I love the different periods, the gaming. So I have as much fun asking people what they're involved with. It's fun. I, I like it here. Somebody told me that we could be sisters. Do you think you see it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah? yeah. Do you need a stand in or? So what is your superpower, Danger Woman? I have super strength, flight, hyper flight, group fly, danger sense. I also have I also have power blast and bolts. I also have an energy torrent and some other powers you wouldn't believe. Who's your favorite lady superhero? Dark Phoenix. I like her enough to have her tattooed on me. Because there aren't too many women in the world that uh, can basically destroy all of humanity, universe, everything, and uh, that's kind of cool. I dig it. Oh yeah, what about now? <laughs> he loves looking. <laughs> he did look. <laughs>